Pranam Puja Soni. In this part, we will perform tap style jaguar sliding form and also make our form responsive. Now our page is designed, but we had not made it responsive. So, before making it responsive, let's make a tap style sliding form. In which we have to do is, if sign up tab is clicked, sign up form should appear. And if sign in tab is clicked, sign in form should appear. Now, this sliding effect depends on, totally on the position of sign in and sign up form. Let me show you the position of sign up form which is exactly below the sign in form. Okay. Now, to perform a sliding effect we need to enable a jquery in our html document that is to enable jquery we are adding one script with type is equal to textless javascript and source is equal to http is to slash slash ajax dot google appish.com slash ajax slash libs slash jquery slash 1.5 slash jquery dot mean dot js now to perform scripting we are adding one more external javascript that is type is equal to textless javascript and source will be in js folder javascript.js now in responsive form let's make a new folder with name js and in js let's add a new file and save it as javascript.js now if our html document is ready first let's check it out that whether the jquery is enabled or not in our document that with our alert function that is jquery is enabled and let's refresh the page you can see jquery is enabled ok now we need to fire an event when a tab is clicked. So, when a tab is clicked, let's take x as a variable which will take the clicked tabs id which is equal to the dollar this dot attr which is attribute selector we are selecting the id attribute let's see that x returns the correct id attribute so with the help of alert function so refresh the page and when sign in tab is clicked ok correct attribute is written id and its correct id is returned so now slide up and slide down slide up means to invisible the selected tag and show sliding motion effect and slide down means to visible the selected tag and show sliding motion effect it is same as hide and show effect just the difference is sliding motion now if x is equal to is equal to sign up so dollar of has of sign in dot remove class select but select is a class which is designed with white color in a tab as an active tab so we are adding the active tag in our sign up tab so that is add class select now we have to make appear our sign up box with slide down and we want to disappear or make invisible our sign in box so slide up function will be used same else 
then sign in tab is clicked we have to remove class of sign up and we need to add class in sign in and we want sign in box and we want to disappear our sign up box so let's say it is working properly or not refresh when sign up is clicked okay it is working very nice so you can see the sliding motion if we do not want any sliding motion instead of slide down let's use so property and up hide show and for up hide now if we do not want sliding motion we can use hide and show properties you can see no motion is shown but i think motion looks pretty good so i am taking that only now let's make the page responsive for responsive designing we are used percentage and auto maximum time let me show you the difference between unresponsive and responsive form you can see here the header fits the device width due to html5 tag but it consumes too much space so as footer and in container the labels text boxes tabs looks quite mashy as we had given 35% to our container and uh, it becomes it shrinks too much due to this width now let me show you our responsive page you can see it perfectly fits the browser and header and footer were also looking nice let me show you for different devices to make any page responsive media queries were used media queries were used specially to design the page so that it fits any browser or devices now to use media queries let's add a style sheet to perform media queries and name it as media.css and to merge all css files i am making one more style sheet and save it as screen.css in which i will add my all css files which i had used by import function media.css and style.css and in index let me change my link instead of style it will be screen in screen first we have to import our style sheet then media queries otherwise our media queries will not work now let's start working with media queries and in inspect element sources in css folder media.css we need to query for different device width and that width can be obtained from top left corner of inspect element look here you had seen here two numbers first number shows width and second number shows height let's work for a media width with a max width of 925 pixel a media with a max width of 925 pixel and give container a width of 50% you can see the media starts working the page starts modifying now for a media 625 pixel give container a width of 60% now for max width media 550 pixel give containers width to be 70% and in header h1 give font size 20 pixel for tab width is to 100% and borders top left radius and top right radius to be 2 pixel you can see here here it is now 
width of text field to be 90 percent and footer speed tag font size is 9 pixel you can see we had made a massive change in our responsive designing. Now for max width 450 pixel, give container a width 80% and for 400 pixel, give width 90%. Now for max width 375 pixel, Give container a width 100% and margin bottom 100 pixel so that it manages the dis different distance between container and footer. Now in sign in box, give padding 2 pixel and somewhat margin. Same for sign up box with a padding 2 pixel. Now copy and paste this code to our ori original media.css file and save it. Now we had made our page responsive. Refresh it. You can see our page is made responsive. It fits any browser or any device. Here I am accomplishing my part of series. I hope I had cleared your concept. And if you have any doubt regarding this tutorial, feel free to ask in the comment box below. And if you dislike something, please mention in the comment box below. I will surely try to improvise my faults. And yes, to continue learning, like, comment and subscribe.